in the burglaries and the uh, copper theft, the different wire theft and things that, that uh, are plaguing most of the outlying communities. And the sheriff is, is willing to use that, the RICO funds to do that. Uh, uh, Joe Young has reviewed the agreement and uh, we request approval. Okay. Will we approve, sir? There's a motion to approve. Uh, I'll second the motion to approve. Okay, questions, comments? All in favor? Say aye. 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 Opposed? <laughs> the ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you. And let's go with item five, finance. Mr. Patterson. Chairman, members of the board, it's good to be before you. Um, the finance department is asking for a discussion of possible proof of amendment to the finance department purchasing policy agreement regarding professional services such as engineering and surveying services, software consultants, and architects. And we would recommend approval. Okay. Gentlemen, will we approve? Uh, Mr. Chairman, I will not be seconding that. I will be opposing this and have some discussion about that. Okay, there's a motion to approve. In that case, I'll go ahead and second the motion. Okay, uh, Mr. Willow, your concerns, sir? Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think this is an, uh, 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 an unneeded uh, reduction in the powers of the board. Uh, this is not something that happens frequently, but it's something that is critical to our powers and our ability to analyze. Uh, it's not as though we have uh, professional services uh, hitting our uh, table every every meeting at all. It's very infrequent, so I don't think it's a burden to the board in that respect. And there has been question in the past about the definition of professional services, and I think it's the board's responsibility to stay in touch with that. So I very much oppose the reduction in the powers of the board in this respect. Mr. Chair. Okay, Mr. Wenger. Yeah, Mr. Chair, members of the board, it's uh, not our intent to ever reduce the involvement or the authority of the board is an ongoing effort on our part to reduce administrative work to the board and allow the board to concentrate on contracts, policies, and different things like that. Uh, the board just passed in the last month uh, the authority for myself and the departments to work with uh, in probation increases as well as hiring the temporaries. So this is not an effort to try to reduce the authority of the board in any way. This is trying to re reduce the administrative uh, things that come before you. Um, I believe, Brian, the amount that you have on this is that uh, uh, the, the department has elected officials and ourselves would work for $20,000 or less for professional services. Anything above that would go to the board. Uh, if the board would like, we could reduce that down somewhat if you feel uncomfortable with that amount. But here again, our intent is to uh, try to do a lot of this administrative work ourselves and anything above a certain threshold would come back to the board for your approval. <clears throat> okay, thank you, Mr. Winger. Yeah, Mr. Chairman, uh, I appreciate Mr. Winger's uh, discussion, but the, uh, the, the entire uh, focus of that discussion is to reduce the burden on us, and uh, I just discussed that there is no burden on us. It's a very infrequent issue, uh, and this is a really important issue relative to what type of professional services uh, come into our county at any level. And uh, since I have uh, seen evidence of areas where it is suspicious in the fact that the small quantities of purchasing could be uh, spread out, I'm concerned that, uh, that uh, this threshold uh, could be split at times. Uh, and I think the board should have close scrutiny over professional service contracts. So uh, I plead and I, I would be opposed to this this, uh, this action. So thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, any other comments, questions? Yes, sir. Uh, Mr. Sheridan. If you go along, we can always take this back up and uh, go the other direction. So I don't see any problem with this. Okay. I believe the motion was made, correct? In the second. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and call for the question right now. All in favor say aye. 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 
Hi, Pauls. Hey. Okay. Two in favor, one opposed. Thank you. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you for your time. Okay. Let's move on to item six. Mr. Whiting. Yes, Mr. Chairman. Item six is a, a request, an attorney's office request for approval to convert a vacant attorney one position to an attorney two position uh, to hire Mr. James Parker at the salary of $73,834. Uh, this was sent to the finance department for review. Also to the. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I cannot understand the presentation. Uh, it was also sent to the finance department uh, for review. Could you start over, sir? Mr. Weller, can you hear me okay? That's better, thank you. Um, let me let me start over, Mr. Chairman, if I could. Okay. The county attorney's office is requesting a possible approval to convert an attorney one position to an attorney two position hire Mr. James Parker at $73,834. Um, this has been sent to the finance department for review. It's also been sent to the HR department for review, which we've reviewed it. Um, everybody's approved, except for we need board's approval. So we're requesting that today. Okay, there's a request to uh, <coughs> convert the vacant attorney one position to attorney two position and hire Mr. James Parker at salary 73,834. Gentlemen, what are your wishes? Will we approve? There's a motion to approve. Yeah, yeah Mr. Chairman, I was on my second. I have uh, several questions. Okay. I'll go ahead and second the motion. You have a question, Mr. Weller? Uh, yes. Could the uh, county attorney speak to the potential improvement of services to the board? Uh, what are the, I've read through some of the recent uh, uh, job qualifications and experiences of this attorney. Uh, and I'm wondering what the focus is going to be. Is this an addition to staff? Uh, is this a, a replacement for a person stepping down to run for office? Is this a, an added cost to the county overall, even though it may fit your budget? Could you discuss those issues for, issues for us, please, Mr. Uh, county Attorney? Uh, yes, sir, Supervisor Weller, thank you. Uh, there's actually a gentleman who was working in our office in the 21 and he resigned uh, last month. He's opening his own uh, private law practice. So this position would be to replace him. It would be primarily as a criminal prosecutor. Okay, so we do not expect uh, uh, added support in the civil area? Uh, no, sir, that, that's not the intention for this attorney. Okay. Uh, all right, understand, thank you. Any other questions, comments? All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed? Yes, sir, aye. The ayes have it. Three in favor, none opposed. Thank you, gentlemen. Let's move on to item seven, county manager. Yes, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, just want a notification of the governor's proclamation designating April as county government month. I know there are several departments that are doing something in regard to this. And this is just notification. Okay, thank you. <coughs> item 8, Mr. Gillender. Yes, uh, item 8 is a presentation by Farron and myself on the HERF and PILT. And maybe Farron could start off with the HERF. Uh, we do have uh, some information we'll put up on the, on the screens. And you also have it in a, in a handout before you if you want to look at it. Supervisors, good to be with you this morning. Uh, Supervisor Weller, can you hear me? Uh, yes, yes, I can, Mr. Engineer. Okay, uh, just, to, just to update you a little bit on what's going on with the herb uh, in the state and, and how it affects our county. Um, for the past numerous years, uh, greater than seven years, uh, the HERF has been uh, supporting the, the DPS uh, department of the state uh, through transfers of HERF funds to DPS. Uh, those, those transfers have exceeded or, or approximately